Hey guys, welcome to Macintosh Weekly, and today this video is about macOS Sequoia 15.1 Developer Beta 6 Update. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe, and now let's begin. Apple today provided developers with the sixth beta of an upcoming macOS Sequoia 15.1 beta, with the new update coming two weeks after Apple released the fifth beta. To update your Mac to macOS Sequoia 15.1 Developer Beta 6, open System Settings, then go to the Software Update section, then check for Updates. Here, you can see the update is available for my device. This Mac OS Sequoia 15.1 Developer Beta 6 update size is around 2.21 GB for my device. Click on Update Now, and then agree to the SLA to begin the update on your device, and enter the password when prompted. And as you can see, the device has been successfully updated to macOS Sequoia 15.1 Beta 6, and the build number is 24B5070A. Moving forward and talking about what's new in this build. This macOS Sequoia 15.1 Beta is an early preview of upcoming apps, features, and technologies that will be available later this fall. This beta includes an initial set of the features powered by Apple Intelligence. To try the Apple Intelligence Beta, join the waitlist in Settings, and you will be notified as soon as it is ready for your device. Both device language and Siri language must be set to US English. Apple Intelligence is available on Macs with M1 and later. Apple Intelligence is not currently available in China. Moving forward and talking about macOS Sequoia 15.1 Beta 6 release notes. The macOS 15.1 SDK provides support to develop apps for Mac computers running Sequoia 15.1 Beta 6. The SDK comes bundled with Xcode 16.1, available from the Mac App Store. Regarding AppKit resolved issues, resolved an issue where menu item keyboard shortcuts in the services menu would take precedence over shortcuts for application menu items. Regarding carbon resolved issues, Resolved an issue where iBooks author quits unexpectedly when clicking charts or widgets in the toolbar. Regarding data detection resolved issues, resolved an issue where iPhone and iPad apps on Apple Silicon Macs might quit unexpectedly if data detection API is used. Regarding mobile device management, new features, MDM profiles can use the new key force bypass screen capture alert, which allows owners of managed devices to opt out of user notifications for content capture technologies. Regarding messages resolved issues, fixed an issue preventing iMessage and other third-party notifications from being received while your device is connected on a VPN. Regarding quick look known issues, back deploying apps that link Quick UI to macOS 11 or earlier might crash. Regarding Siri resolved issues, fixed some of the buttons on the macOS Siri snippets might be unresponsive when using Siri through voice. Regarding Screen Capture Kit new feature. Applications using our deprecated content capture technologies now have enhanced user awareness policies. Users will see fewer dialogues if they regularly use apps in which they have already acknowledged and accepted the risks. Regarding Store Kit resolved issues, fixed in Store Kit testing in Xcode, the offer identifier in the subscription renewal info might be reported incorrectly for offer codes. Regarding Swift Charts known issues, any project that utilizes Swift Charts fails to build when targeting iOS, macOS, or VisionOS. Regarding Swift UI known issues, macOS apps might crash with an exception related to duplicate toolbar items. This often happens when either A, navigation split views are nested, or B, toolbars with IDEs are specified, view.tool, and a new window is created with the same identified toolbar, Quintru446. 
workaround is a use applied.doctoolbar removing sidebar toggle within the sidebar column of the inner navigation split view b temporarily stop using identified toolbars until this issue is addressed alternatively sometimes it might be possible to work around b by moving toolbar items around or rendering them after a short delay Regarding system integrity protection resolved issues, fixed users might be incorrectly prompted when an app that is distributed through test flight attempts to access an application group container. Regarding UIKit resolved issues, resolved an issue where iPhone and iPad apps on Apple Silicon Macs quit unexpectedly when loading UI reference library view controller. So that was all about this build. The rest of the build seems identical. If you want to know more, Check out Apple's official documentation for Mac OS Sequoia 15.1 beta release notes. So that was it. Hope it was useful. Consider like for the video, subscribe to the channel, and if you have any questions, just comment down below. Thanks for watching and have a great day ahead.